with Falcon hockey coach Joe Cranston. And Joe, last weekend, the Falcons swept Finlandia here at Hunter Arena, winning 7-1 on Friday and 12-0 on Saturday. And with the two wins, won the NCHA regular season title. Could you talk a little bit about those two games? Uh, well, we had the puck most of the game, and, um, you know, we just we were trying not to shoot the puck too much and work the puck and make some nice plays, and, you know, we did that and, and had our heads up, and we were moving pretty well in the offensive zone, and we just controlled those games from the drop of the puck to the end, and, you know, a lot of credit to Finlandia um, playing a clean game and, and trying to skate with us and not just climbing up the middle and being physical, and, so it ended up being a skating game for us and uh, um, came away with four points. So and, and it is nice to wrap up the NCHA title uh, with, uh, with three games to go. Joe, junior defenseman Brianna Robbie was named the team's player of the week after she had an assist on the game-winning goal against St. Thomas. And then she scored a three-goal hat-trick on Saturday against Finlandia. Could you talk about Bree's play a little bit? Well, she plays, last year she played forward. I think almost the whole year, and this year we moved her back on D, and I think she likes it better back there. She can play either either position, but she's been doing well on, on D. She's just a very skilled hockey player, and uh, so she's got the best shot on our team, and, and it's just, sometimes she has trouble finding the time and space to get it off, and so it's just nice for her to find the time and space to get that shot off and, and score some goals low. And, and, uh, but, you know, this last week I probably could have picked four or five different kids to be player of the week because we had a lot of goal scoring and uh, we had some really good uh, plays and, uh, from the St. Thomas game too. So uh, it was just nice to see some goal production this, the last three games. Joel, the Falcons are now the only undefeated team in the country after RIT lost a game on Saturday. Currently ranked number one in the U.S. College Hockey Online.com poll. What are your thoughts about that? Well, I think it's it's a pretty big accomplishment. It's pretty fun, you know. It just adds a little more adds a little more pressure, but it also brings a lot of uh, new energy. And you know, the girls are they are they're proud of the fact that they're number one. I mean, nobody's beaten us this year, and we've had a lot of close games and had to play come from behind and a lot of one goal games. And and they, we just managed to, to win games, and three ties, and. But I said it says a lot about our hockey team and our program and how far we've been coming. And a few years ago when we were, there were several years in when we ranked seventh or eighth in the country, um, we knew that wasn't good enough and we've really made a push to get where we are and a lot of credit to Jim Walsh. He's as good a recruiter as there is. So we have some, uh, we have a lot of good athletes here, a lot of good student athletes and they're putting it together and it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty, I'm proud of the girls for doing that. Joel, look ahead to this Falcon, the Falcons end their regular season with an NCHA series at Marion College. What are you looking for this weekend? Well, it's probably going to be somewhat similar to the last weekend. I'm sure you know we get a chance to rest some kids, uh, which is nice this time of the year. But on the other hand, you know we have to go in. We got to keep our speed up. We can't play down. We, we still have to be playing good hockey at this time of the year, at least for part of the game. Um, you know we're not. Uh, it's not about running up scores or scoring 15 goals or anything, but it's you got to set the pace and show that we can play the level that we need to play at some point in the game. Um, so we're just going to go down there and try to be buzzing and flying around early and moving the puck, getting our head up, and just control the game and shut them down defensively, and, and uh, we'll just see what happens. Joe, good luck to the Falcons this weekend. We'll talk to you next week.